right, so today is going to be the office makeover video. I actually had an intro film showing you the before of the room and everything, but the audio got messed up. Um, so today we're going to do the office makeover. We're going to start off with a bland beige, tiley sun Florida room. People call it a Florida room usually because there's all windows in this office. We want to make our typical everyday, most important room in the house to us workspace. So that's what we're going to do. Let's talk about the before and then we're going to dip right on into painting the room, which is going to be in Valspar paint in the color Gravity. The guy at Lowe's said that this is the only gray that doesn't have like a blue uh, base to it or another different kind of color to it. This one's kind of like a solid staple gray. So that's the color we're using throughout the entire house so far <laughs> um, and it's just it's a beautiful paint but that's the first thing we're gonna do so let's show you the before of the room okay today we're tackling paint for the office just the first paint so a lot of these walls have texture that i don't like we're going to focus on these walls today which are mostly solid and we're going to paint it Maybe I'm absolutely crazy. Maybe I've lost my mind. But does this look blue behind me? This is the section I did. I, I did not get to that side of the wall or the wall in front of me. I got this section done. It's gray, but I'm worried it's pulling a little blue and I'm not redoing it. Okay, so the majority of the room is painted now. This beautiful gray. This gray is stunning. It's lovely. I made it do some touch-ups. There's one corner I haven't painted yet, but I'm waiting until I just do the living room back wall that I'm going to do anyways, and we'll just finish that up with a roller because I've been hand doing it with a little brush this size the entire room because there's so many windows, so many corners and stuff. I just wanted to make sure everything was coated properly, so I hand brushed it with this. And I have carpal tunnel in my left hand, and I'm left-handed. So it's taken me two days <laughs> to get this far for one or two painted, but that is okay. Mr. Biddy is here. He's a, he's a good loving baby. He's a good loving baby. But I decided I don't like the window sills. So when we started off the window sills were both the tan color in the room and it just looked bleh, but it matched. And then when I went around the room and painted the whole room gray, I felt like the window still stood off as a really ugly color that I'm just not into because you could just see how brownie beige it is. And I decided if I did the same gray, maybe it would get lost. You know, since a lot of the windows are connected, maybe I'll get lost in the details. So I went against my own judgment and bought pre-mixed paint. I hate buying pre-mixed paint. I'd rather go there and have the person mix it for me in the machine and I can use it immediately. I feel like for pre-mixed paint is never as dark as I want it. I don't know. I feel like it's just been sitting around. I don't have a stick currently to mix this up with. So we're gonna do the old shaky makey method and uh, see if I can make it work. So I'm just gonna do the sill itself. The edges of the windows, like this area, are going to be all the gray. Just this top sill is going to be the black, and I just think it's going to make some contrast, make it stand out a little bit. So I also got some baby wipes in case they accidentally, while it's wet, get it on the gray. I can wipe it off. And then please, if you paint anything, get these things. This little nozzle you put on top of your gallon of paint. It makes my life like a hundred times easier. I don't care if this is four dollars and it feels like a waste of money. It is so pivotal and you can reuse it afterwards, but I'm gonna shake this up and do the window sills now. Okay. 
Okay, so it took two coats because I just got the cheap pre-mixed Walmart paint, you know, that just could get delivered. Um, but the trim looks so pretty. I really like the way the black and the gray look. I feel like it just adds a little bit of dimension like I was right. Like I was right. It added a little bit of dimension. However, some of the windows don't, like uh, two of the windows don't open. So I had to just kind of pretend to paint a line where there should be one if I opened the window to paint underneath it like I did with the rest of them so they wouldn't be painted closed. Um, but they worked out really beautiful. The issue I have now is that these windows behind me, I went to clean before I started painting from the inside and the outside. However, they're just white and foggy and there's nothing I can do about it because there's something on the inside that got something in it that made it all white and foggy. So that's not gonna be perfect looking, but it's progress for sure. Like the paint in the room looks really good. So one of the next things we're gonna tackle in this room is this built-in. I painted underneath of it. And above it of course but this built-in we were thinking about ripping out because we don't like it but these cabinets are in great condition and i was like hey i'm gonna make it work these cabinets are good shape don't waste stuff but i don't like this tile this is what i don't like i don't like this tile and i don't like this tile on top because again i'm just tired of tile everywhere um but we're gonna make this work apparently this is just wood wrapped in this tile stuff so we're gonna paint all this sand it all down and make it look more aesthetically pleasing to my taste So the tops are officially off of the built-in cabinets now. We're going to get a new piece of MDF board put across here. Probably stain it black since you can stain MDF even though it's not like a regular wood grain. We have the tile that ripped off in the bottom here we still have to clean up. But the cabinets were in good shape and I think we can still use them. So changing routes now, we're going to do our custom desk before we finish the built-in. We got one piece of wood from Home Depot that was $83. We really wanted a good quality wood. And we'll use this one piece cut in half for the entire thing. Now my husband used a routing tool to give us a nice beveled edge on the ends that would be facing us. So it would be rounded like a normal professional table and not just squared off at a sharp angle. So I held the board as he did that. It took a lot of sanding for both these pieces to be connected together but we did connect them after we used some wood filler and glue and a lot of sanding like i said just to connect the two pieces to make it less visible of a seam between the connection we want to look as one as best as possible without actually being one piece of wood after that wood glue dried he sanded it back down and then it was time for the stain we used a bare stain in the color true black and that was just a wash over with a sponge brush. We did two coats and we also did a sealing coat as well afterwards. Okay, I tried to spray paint this cabinet, the built-in in the office. It went disastrously and I cried a lot. So husband has taken it upon himself to make an even bigger project out of this built-in today. And uh, he built a frame of metal for concrete to go in, for a concrete countertop. You know, personally, I was good with a piece of wood up there just so I can have things done, but he made a project out of it, didn't you, honey? Baby wants nice things. Baby gets nice things. I just wanted something to hold my printers. Now it's going to be a whole concrete countertop situation. Don't thank me. I'm not going to thank him. The concrete goes in this metal thing. The metal thing's stained. We're going to paint it black, though. So today is finally the day that I'm gonna have this built-in in the office painted. As you may be able to tell, this side is spray painted and it uh, was a complete fucking mess. It was, it was just cloggy and gunky because it was an old can I had and I, I thought if I shook it up, it'll be good. It wasn't. Um, <laughs> and then on this side, I got some 
Valspar Ultra paint from Home Depot. And that is the paint I've been using on my walls. It's absolutely amazing. But I don't know if this one gallon bucket that I bought was just sitting on the shelf too long, but it was a goopy, soupy mess. And it came out a very streaky navy. So that needs to be returned. But I went to Home Depot and I said, I need one coat coverage. What's the best you have? And they recommended this. So this is a bare bar bar baroque bar bar marquee. Marquee, I think the word is. I don't know why I put a B in the front of it. One coat hide guarantee lasting beauty and durability interior satin enamel. Apparently enamel is good for long wearing and I demanded a satin finish. I just love a satin finish. So this one gallon was $63 and it hurt my heart to do that. But at the same time, I need this done. Okay, so let's give a little bit of a paint review real quick. I'm gonna take a little bit on my brush here. I mean, it's uh, better than that trash soup I was working with before, but maybe it's because the finished wood. I, it doesn't seem one coat coverage to me. You can definitely still see streaks everywhere, but the color is really good and the pigmentation's all right. So you can still definitely see things. project is almost done and we had all the printers and everything set up the outlet was in the ceiling so husband is moving it not to the ceiling so we don't have cords going up where is outlet going oh it's going down here so it's easier for the printers to get to but it's not run cords into the ceiling kind of messy okay let's keep in mind for this reveal now that there's still things that i need to do but this is the first month <laughs> So I did make this video over the course of a month and I figured I'd go ahead and show you the progress that we've made. So we do have French doors when you come in. We have the sorry, we're dead at this office door and our Skeletor. And then here is what the rest of the office looks like right now. So when you walk in, first thing you see these two moon tables. These are from Home Goods. One's from TJ Maxx, one's from Home Goods. I really just had this big one at first. I used it as our wedding table. Um, and then I found this one on clearance because it was broken on the corner at a home goods. I put the plants on it. Akasha was peeing on this one when I had it under the skeleton. So I moved them up here. This plant's dying from Walmart. I don't know what I did wrong. The rest of them are fine. And then moving on in here, here is our built-in. Now remember this had like this tile wood thing up here that we ripped off. I ripped that off. We filled this with concrete and a metal rim here filled with stuff leveling concrete we didn't make it perfect i wanted something a little bit kind of just smooth but rough in this room to match what we're doing in the living room with a little more industrial feel we have these black painted drawers with knobs from home depot if i can find them on their website i'll leave a link down below we have our beware of the ghosts and beware of the gnomes shelves here so we have my thing and his thing which that looked really cute we have a little ghost canister, my Frankenstein bust, and then some of our printers. I use this one for printing out my wax melt labels, and I use this one for sublimation. This is my baby. If it never happened to it, I'd be sad. Um, we have my 100,000 plaque to hang above this thermostat. However, I ran out of nails, so it's still there. And then here is what the rest of this is. We have this. I'm going to change those knobs at some point. Here is that piece of wood bench thing changed into like a little sitting area with Tiffany there. I put two fig plants outside of this door again so Akasha wouldn't come over here and pee in it because she hangs out over there. <laughs> and this is every day's Halloween on this rug. And then here we have a big tall plant. This one actually was gifted to me this morning so it came just in time for this video. I'm going to change the pot from being brown. But look how pretty and there's like a separate one twisted around the bottom there but they share the same pot and then we have a fake hanging plant up here 
now the custom huge desk oh my gosh okay <laughs> so this desk I personally didn't think it was a necessity to make and build a whole one signature desk, but it's what Quilton really wanted for this space. He wanted us to be united as one huge long desk. So we have my side of the desk here with some little ghosts, my Cricut maker, my paper cutter thing on here, my label printer. So if I get an order from my shop, I can print out the label, uh, write a little note on it, wait for it to dry, and then, you know, go in my room and pack it up. So this is what my side looks like. It's pretty cute, right? It's pretty cute. <laughs> Um, and then when we have his side, which isn't as decorative, we have two little guys down here in this open Alex drawer with a power supply thing down here. We have a little pumpkin guy that I got from an estate sale. Um, so this is his side, and that is my side. I think even though mine has more stuff, like uh, little ghosty canisters, little two printery things over there, his still looks busier because he put his PC on the table. His wiring, everything is not done, but that is because we're planning on changing these floors. The rest of the room is literally just this cat tree, which Akasha loves. This is her spot. She sits in this little nook area and she watches outside every day. There's nothing to watch besides the lizard going by, but this is her spot. So succulent. And then we have a witch's inn and a little moon phase thing. So yeah, this is our office. I know the lighting's weird. There's so much light coming in that it looks dark in here, but it's not. It's just the light's coming from the outside. The cats really love this room it's their favorite room especially akasha like i said she hangs out in that i think it's a much an improvement from what it was like especially this built in here this looks so much nicer than it did originally like the before and after of this is so much better it's so much better the custom desk you can see the seam where they were conjoined right there but i could put something there like a decorative thing like a mat or something to kind of hide it but I think this room looks better. I love the gray walls with the black trim. It does leave little dusty cat prints sometimes, but the black trim really defines the space with the, or the black windowsill and the white trim really define the space in the color contrast. I didn't paint above the door frame because I think we might lift the doors. We're having a lot of issues where water is coming in and it's gonna rain all weekend, so. As you can see, this baseboard might be separated right here. Water is coming in here, and it's also coming in this side here, which when it sprinkle rains, you can't tell. I forgot to paint by the outlet. You can't tell. It doesn't come in at all during sprinkle rains, but when it rains really hard, water is coming in. So we had to buy a, some sub pump stuffs to stop that from happening, but this whole area floods really bad. I'll insert footage now of like what it looked like outside and how it was coming in the inside. But anyways, this is the office before and after makeover. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's nice, right? Like there's still some things we want to do. Like we want to lift the doors, like I said. This floor, because water is coming in, I think we should elevate the floor a little bit. Maybe do concrete floors in here because it's going to be a lot cheaper than buying vinyl flooring or tiles that we like. Um, and then a lot of these tiles, some of them are broken and stuff. Like these are broken right here. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. This has been a long time coming and I'm so happy to be presenting this video to you guys. I will see you later. Bye, have a great day.